Welcome to physics class with Flash Isaac. In my previous video on quantities and units, I told you that we have two types of quantities. We have the fundamental quantities and the derived quantities. You can check out that video if you've not watched it. So today I'll be treating dimension of physical quantities. The three main quantities or basic quantities or fundamental quantities are time, length and uh, mass now i told you that the uh, unit of time is seconds the unit of length is meter the unit of mass is kilogram kg good now we are expressing them in terms of dimensions and using them to derive other quantities the, the way we got the derived quantities that's the way we are getting it now but in dimension we are using this dimension of time, length, and mass instead of S, M, and Kg. So that is the only difference. So in dimension, we use dimension of time as T, and we use dimension of length as L, dimension of mass as M. So while solving, instead of putting S for time, M for length, and Kg for mass, we use L, M, and as you can see here, respectively. For example, uh, vol uh, volume is length times breadth times height. And when we solved earlier, we used it as meter. Meter times meter times meter, which is equals meter cube as the unit. But while using dimension, we use this dimension of time L. In that case, volume will be m is l times m l times m is l which will give us l cube so basically instead of putting s for time we use t instead of putting m for length we use l instead of putting kg for mass we use m so that's what dimension is about so let's solve for other quantities and look at density density equals mass over volume so mass is m as dimension m volume we got this as l cube l to power 3 so that's now the dimension for density which is the same thing as m l so that's density it's pretty simple, right? right? Good. So let's solve for next stuff. So now velocity. Velocity is displacement over time. That is length over time. So time is t, l over t. So this is simply l t raised to power minus one. So that's the unit of that is the dimension for velocity. These are very simple. Acceleration is equals change the velocity over time, which is this already over time, another t. So this will give you l t minus 2. That is dimension for acceleration. So take a look at it. Look at it. Good. Now let's look at force. Force equals mass is m. Mass times acceleration. Acceleration is this. L T. So this is the same thing as m L T. So that's the unit of force. It's so interesting. So so interesting. Now let's see the next stuff. You may be wondering this dimension. How is it important? When do we use it? Before I go into that, if you've not understood uh, dimension, it means you didn't watch my previous video. Make sure you get that video because I explained everything. From the previous video, you should be able to get everything we did here. Yeah. For example, let me give another example. Okay. Um, pressure. Pressure is equals force over area. 
and we solved force okay let me solve force again force is equals m a m is mass mass times acceleration acceleration is velocity over time velocity over time and velocity is we are this rough solving and velocity is displacement over time which is length over time velocity is l over t over time again this time is t t so everything here should give you l over t divided by t equals l t minus 2 so force is equals m l t minus 2 this is the uh, dimension for force so pressure pressure is force over area so we now have m l t minus 2 now area is simply length times breadth it's a product of length L, breadth is also in length is distance so it's l times l area is l times l which implies that pressure is equals l t to the power minus 2 times l sphere so this l cancels this sphere which leaves us which leaves us with minus 2 over l equals m so hope that's simple so the importance of dimension is that it helps us to know whether an equation is correct or not so let's look at this equation and let's use dimension to solve whether it's correct or not look at this s equals ut is equals half a t square so let's check whether that equation is correct by using dimension let s equals distance and distance is length it equals l length space is they are all distance you use them as length then u is velocity initial velocity initial velocity and velocity is displacement over time which is l over t which is l t minus one now t is time and time is t so time is t half is one over two so it's dimensionless numbers are dimensionless so we don't include them so a is acceleration acceleration is equals velocity change in velocity over time and velocity is l per t so that means velocity is l t minus one the acceleration is now velocity over time over t when you solve this a is equals l t minus 2 and t square time square so t square is the same thing as time square or t square is the same thing as t raised to the power of 2 so we've gotten the dimension of each of the quantities here so let's substitute s is distance and we got it as l l equals u is l per t so which is l t minus 1 t time which is t times t equals half is dimensionless so we can put it there a is l t is power minus 2 l t is power minus 2 times t square times square is t square t square so we've not done any magic we just substituted which you can see good now take a look at it once again cool you this is l this now l t to the power of minus 1 times t so l t to the power of minus 1 is something as l over t so times t would give you times t t cancels t you'll be left with l here so l equals l equals t to the power minus 2 times t squared will cancel because t is the same thing as 1 over so times t squared 
this cancels remaining L here. So equals L. So this equation is correct. Okay, let's see one more example. <coughs> now look at this question. What is the dimension of surface tension? When you see something like this, the first thing you should ask yourself is, what is surface tension? What is surface tension? So, surface tension, surface tension, is simply force over length. That's surface tension for you. Force over length. And remember, force, like we solved earlier, is equals ma, where m is mass, and this dimension is m, times acceleration. We've solved acceleration over and over again, but let's solve it again. So acceleration is change in velocity over time, and velocity is displacement over time. That's uh, length over t. So everything here is uh, velocity, then time, t. So we have L over t over t. So this is the same thing as L over t divided by t. This is the same thing as L over t times 1 over t. Once you change multiplication, division to multiplication, it's you have to invert what's in the other side. So this is L c raised to power minus 2. So that's acceleration. So force is equals m times L t. This is m L t. Now this is the dimension of force. The dimension of force is m L. Now length. Length is simply L. So over L. So in that case, we just have a simple task. L cancels L. Remaining M T to minus 2. So that's the unit of surface tension. So thanks for watching and check out my next videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.